Recently, Everton made some really big moves in the transfer window, which was headlined with the signing of James Rodriguez for around £20 million. Contrary to popular opinion, I actually think this wasn't the most important signing Everton made. Rather, I truly believe that the biggest and most important signing Everton made was when they signed defensive midfielder Allen from Napoli for about £22 million on a three-year deal. There is definitely a reason why Carlo Angelotti believes that Allen is one of the best defensive midfielders in the world. The first thing that comes to mind when you think about Allen is the sheer intensity he carries into every game. He brings so much energy into every game he plays, where he is able to cover so much space when putting on pressure to win the ball back. Even when he isn't necessarily close to his opponent with the ball, Allen's perceived pressure is often enough for opposition players to make a mistake in the form of an errand pass or general loss of possession. One of Allen's greatest strengths is his tackling ability. He is exactly what Everton have been begging for, as I felt like at times last season it was just too easy for the opposition to just go down the middle of the park. Teams won't be able to do this as much now, as Allen is simply a tackling machine and he very well has a case for perhaps being the best tackling midfielder in the world. He actually put in the most tackles of anyone in the 2017-18 and the 2018-19 Serie A seasons and only wasn't high in the list last Serie A season as he missed many games due to injury and also the fact that when new coach General Gattuso came in, Allen wasn't getting picked as much to play. He's also rather disciplined for a player that plays with so much passion as sometimes that can get the better of this particular type of player. But he has not gotten a red card in league football for nearly 7 years now so Everton fans won't really need to worry about Allen losing his temper at any stage. Another glaring strength of Allen's game is his ability to read the play. This shouldn't come as a surprise seeing that he can cover the ground so well, albeit that he isn't going to intercept a whole lot of aerial passes due to his relatively little height of just 1.73 meters. He is still excellent in reading opposition passages of play and is one of the best in positioning himself well to ensure that the vast majority of passes never get past the second last line of defense which is basically the midfield and force him play to go out to the side or backwards. It actually sucks that he goes unnoticed by many for these sorts of things, particularly if you only watch the 3 minute highlights video, as you'll miss out on all the amazing work Alan does off the ball, and although it's not as pretty as say scoring a goal, it's still equally as important to the performance of the team. Although admittedly he is not a natural playmaker, but what he does do really well is hold the ball with great composure and ensuring the tempo of the play is controlled even when they are put under pressure. Not only that, but he doesn't need a second invitation to move up the ball to the attackers when the opportunity presents itself, and with Hamas Rodriguez being that link between the midfield and the attackers, it will only make Allen's job even easier. He regularly gets a passing accuracy percentage of well over 85%, which is at a very good clip, especially as he does make a lot of forward passes for his team. He was actually in the top 10 for through balls in consecutive years from 2017-18, to the 2018-19 season, so he does have a lot of attacking awareness in his arsenal too. One last strength which usually goes somewhat unnoticed due to his ridiculous defensive and recovery abilities is that of his dribbling ability. He may not be able to break defences with a deadly ball compared to others, but he can break defences through his great ability to go on a quick dribbling run and power pass defenders on the ball to create gaps in the opposition setup. He's a quick player as well, which further helps him in this department. The only glaring weakness I can think of is his ability to defend in set-piece situations where he's obviously vulnerable due to his short height, and with Allen now playing in England, he could very well get even more exposed than usual. But other than this, Everton are getting a well-rounded midfielder who's excellent in going from box to box. For this particular season, however, I think that Allen could very well be one of the best players in the Premier League for a specific reason. I brought up Carlo Angelotti earlier in the video, and in Allen's best ever season in the 2018-19 season, where he led all midfielders in nearly every defensive statistic, Carlo Angelotti was in charge as well of that Napoli team that finished runner-up to Juventus, and Allen was crucial to Napoli's run and will already be used to how Angelotti likes to set up tactically with the ball and in the press. 
So basically, in conclusion, I think Alon is a very underrated player who helps stabilize his defenses with his brilliant defensive abilities, such as his tackling, interceptability, and creating an extra line of defense, which makes it really difficult for opposing attackers to penetrate through the middle. Even though he has only played one game for the Toffees so far, he was declared man of the match against Tottenham for this game, and it was obvious to see the overall quality that he will bring for what promises to be a very good season for Everton. And I truly believe that Allen is one of the most underrated players in world football, as he will prove himself to be one of the best signings in the Premier League this season. So there you go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content.